This week, we get started on the concrete countertops in our earth bag kitchen and Garen and Ellie redesign and reorganize their front porch. Prepping the kitchen today to get ready for the countertop, which means we have to remove the stove top and the sink so we can uh, go ahead and get the countertops ready to pour concrete. Now, I'll just go out and trim this up a little bit. I want to thank Indigo DIY Tips for his demonstration that he did, curved countertops with some kind of hangover. I did the same thing here with the hangover. Okay, this is the overhang, but if you look at the whole shape of the island, all in one piece, you can see that I'm going to just cut off the overhangs, and then I'm going to replace them with an overhang that will fit underneath this. I've created a little ledge for this all to fit. This will fit inside there, and I'll screw up from the bottom into the bottom of that, and then I can fill this with concrete and get an overhang. Awesome. Okay, cut it all out, uh, about a three quarter inch, hang over just a little bit, and then attached a piece underneath that, then I could get the full two and a quarter inches of countertop all the way around, so that it holds up the overhang. So the concrete comes all the way up, so that when that flange comes over, it plays on the concrete. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too, a couple hours of work, but we done. Over the top of the carcasses itself, the three quarter supports an inch and a half of concrete. So that worked out really well. Just keep the little saw, bring it up. You cut this back a quarter inch right there and you got it. Okay. It's just bumping on that. I'm sure because they're right in the middle of the floor. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Quarter inch bendy board went right around the edges of it and I could just double that up or triple that up. That made for a really nice sideboard. Set exactly three inches which should be perf. Oh yeah. And then that's going to go right there. Will it wrap around the whole thing? Yeah. Be it to go slow and use that nail thing. Nail it as we go. Yeah. A flush with the bottom. Oh, I got it. Edging. We're on the edge here, boys. We're on the edge. <laughs> Woo, that was close. Like a dream come true. Yeah. Well, it's cracking, but that's okay. Let's crack up, Bryson. Pretty unique looking corner. V for victory. So Ellie is screwing the L for L. Well, Eligible for the work. To me, this also looks like here. a check mark, which I'd say is L approved. Okay, I need a. <laughs> That was close to the finger. Woo! Don't look at that line. Three layers of thickness here. Thickness Make sure too. that concrete oh, okay. stays in my frame. The corner. Yeah, don't want to bust it on the sides. So I think there's going to even be more of these that'll be stacked. So it's nice and strong. Ooh, that's nice. Very strong, man. Concrete is in. As rounded as we can get. the sinks, cut around the stove top. I think we're gonna be able to pull all these little pieces together. Got my form all set and ready the way I wanted it to go. This week we're gonna be focusing on the porch 
it's not too bad, it's just a little cluttered, but we kind of want to make it a little more homey and set up our barbecue grill. And then Garen had some ideas on the wooden porch here that goes yeah. up into the door. We're thinking that if we just move the stairs around a little bit, we might get a lot more open, inviting look. And that's kind of that's kind of what we're going for right now. All right, let's get started, huh? Yeah. I got all of the stair pieces, I guess. I don't know what these are called. Not a stair builder. Anyway, I ran out of material. So I pieced one together. Nice. Yeah, and I just got those three and then I'll just nail those up. Cool. Got the stairs all finished up. This rail, it's, it looks kind of awkward. It's, it's plenty strong though to hold anyone. Now, I'm going to take the old stairs out. So this pole comes out and then I'm pretty sure I can just pull these two boards and take the hacksaw and run it along there and cut off the nails and this whole stairs will just come right out. It's one unit. Oh. Stairs coming out. What do you think, babe? What do you think about putting maybe a couple more rails right here? Yeah. Garen got the porch all done. It looks really good. So I'm gonna hit like a just the deck right here with a quick sand and then we're gonna stain it just so it protects the wood and looks a little nicer. We're gonna stain the porch. Woo! Woo! While Ella's doing that, I'm gonna start emptying out this freezer and moving it and then maybe get into some other stuff too. We're gonna butcher the butcher board, eh? Are you ready? This is a block of wood. Time to cut this whole sucker up because it's gonna go in our oh, countertop. Bacon strips, more bacon strips. We have sections here we can put the butcher block in. All right, guys, is it rebar time? It's rebar time. It's coming along, slowly but surely. I want to go crisscross applesauce across here. Karen, I looked at the safety glasses, but I couldn't find any. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to put Would you just cut it for me? Beautiful. It's a good exercise to see if you flinch. I can't see a thing out of these. <laughs> okay. Sorry, we don't need to go see. Uh, okay. Kids are gonna put together all of the rebar, tying it all together and putting it in. Around the front edges is the same thing. We've got that all set up and ready to go. Just about go, a guys. foot, guys. 12 inches if you can. I mean, that's 8. Is that too close? Yeah. That's about good, isn't it? Okay, well, we got those cut the way they are there now. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, we got those cut the way they are there now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Leave about a half an inch. Half inch is okay? Yeah. That's mm. good. Silicone. No seepage. <laughs> no seepage. No seepage. This is going to be amazing. Come back here. And you can see how amazing that's going to be. There's only one drawback to this job. We're gonna lose our sink for three days, but that's okay. That really makes our heart sink. <laughs> it does. <laughs> sink. All right. Grab that. You okay? Wood chips everywhere. We don't want the concrete to stick to this side, but in this rare case, really not want it to stick. We want it to look nicer, and the white obviously looks nicer. So that's why that's like that. Mm. <laughs> 
I realized that Gary, when he figured out what he wanted to do, he's been planning in his head for months and months this project. And it's really exciting because you can tell that every detail has been thought through. Everybody's working together and putting all those details together. Boy, at the end of the day, this was pretty cool. Everything came together really well. The kids were totally into this. Garen and Bryson and Bree and Ellie, gosh, just got right in there and made it all come together really well. All done. You guys are so all cool. done. Woo! Good job, you guys. Cement tomorrow, eh? It's gonna be fun. I think so. And we've got to the part now that it's just all framed up. It looks great. Yeah, you know, this seems guys. to be the way to do it. Form it up on one day and then... Yeah. Form it up one day and then... Or the next. Really overdid on the rebar over here. <laughs> this is where the this rebar is where it needed it. Yeah, it, was it was intentional. Never have too much rebar. Exactly. Are you going to be able to jump up and down on like the edges of these things? Walk on them. Two and a quarter inches of slat with rebar. I'm glad you guys well, we are we know building. what Garen's going to do when it dries. <laughs> Maybe a little before. Uh -huh. Alright guys, we're out of here. Thank All right, well, thank tomorrow. you. Tomorrow. All right, thank you, guys. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 Do you guys think you'll be done? Is that when you're going to arrive? <laughs> we'll give you a 30-minute cushion. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. And then maybe build our wood rack. Yep. The only heat we have in the house is the fireplace. So we've been stockpiling wood like you cannot believe. And now we need a place to put it where it'll stay dry. How's it going, Al? Going good. And it's looking really good. It's pretty dark, but a lot of leftovers from the baby's room. <laughs> <laughs> yep, gotta go with what you got sometimes. I'm gonna put the firewood holder in here and start stacking wood on it, I think. This is the leg off of my family's old dining table, um, but my dad had kept the legs. So I was thinking about sanding this one down and then this old countertop from what we pulled out of the kitchen and making it into a table and putting it on the front porch between our rocking chairs or something. So I'm gonna get started sanding. I got everything sanded down how I want it. I left some of these darker spots right in here. So I was thinking it looked really cool and I didn't want to lose all of these little curves and stuff and I didn't want to sand those out. So I'm gonna put the tabletop on now and then stain it. See how it turns out. All right, it's all put together now. It looks a little odd right now until it's gonna be stained all the same color, but I think it's gonna be kind of cool. We're gonna protect the floor from all the concrete that's gonna be zooming in and out here. Here's the masterpiece he has created. What's all that racket? It. You guys are genius. What do you think? And then it's tucked into all of these drawers. You guys are geniuses, prepping the walkway. I knew we were turning the kitchen into a fish tank. See our wonderful aquaponics growers, our beautiful fish tank, another beautiful aquaponic grower right here. We do have a hole here we need to patch up. I created these wire hooks that we're gonna put into the cement here, about an inch, three quarters of an inch away from here, so that I can lay the form for the backsplash, tying the backsplash into the countertop. They're here, they're back, they were turning. We didn't scare them off yesterday, that's good. They're off, they're tougher than that. They've scared us off in 22 years. Oh, no. <laughs> we have tried, tried, and tried. Nothing works. So, two bags, Per thing, four ounces of color makes the perfect mixture. Per bag, yep. This is a different type of concrete, high strength. Oh yeah, you gotta have that high strength. If you have low strength, all sorts of problems occur. You'll notice that when you set something heavy on it, kind of has a jello effect. You gotta wow, wow. Mm -hmm. We are bracing the corner. I mean, you don't want to pry it up. Then I don't want to pry, I just want to brace. Snap it off. Some extra support during the hardening process. Brace yourself, you're bracing. More steam. Impressive. Can I 
the counters are that bright. <laughs> Sorry, Mom, we added what you said. I hope it's like a brown, like, I like this kind of brown. Look at my dry. You can see though, like that's not normal cement color. Yeah, no, it's definitely a browner. See what it looks like, Jurassic. Yeah. Get out of the way. Dump it in there. First scoop. Second scoop. Are we counting them? <laughs> yeah, if we only had a sink to rinse stuff off with. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> <laughs> gonna pour today. I'm really looking forward to watching his dream that he's had in his head come to fruition. You guys want to start on this one? Yeah, Garen, we're gonna go with what we got. Corner right there. Yeah, we're not filmers. Not today. Today we are workers. Yeah, filming for other people. Good work. Man. I actually need a little more there. Good thinking. Strategic placing. What? Is that a dog? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was finished. pouring out of somewhere. I was like, uh-oh. Oops. Where's the leak? We have one more batch. Okay. Gonna be close. Gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I think it's it will like too. That's just scary. Scary. Oh yeah, I guess it is noon. I'm very pleased. The pouring of the concrete went well. Everybody muscled in there and got it mixed up into the wheelbarrow. We poured in, screed it off. Garen got it pretty real whole flat. I went back and did a lot of extra polishing and getting it down there so that that green concrete would be nice and flat. And got that creamed rice over the top so we can sand it off. Beautiful! Wow! Oh my God! Wow, oh my God, too! Wow! Wow, wow, wow! Oh! I heard you're on your last bag. So I might be running back. <laughs> got the perfect amount, huh? Bailey! Not more, not less? Very cool. We're gonna accumulate one. Very cool. You lead, I'll follow. <laughs> this is enough. Pretty this is. Okay, let's get the sander out. Oh, we use it to kind of get some of the bubbles out. Oh. On the side. It's nice to see the house or the property as a whole kind of come together now. What we've been doing in the bedrooms and they are really cool pieces of art. The main house has been kind of the eyesore, the worst part of it all really, especially the kitchen. It was just, it was bad. <laughs> but now it's really cool to see it transform into one of the coolest parts of the property from being one of the worst. Dad did a, just a wonderful job on all the cabinetry and these countertops are gonna just turn out beautifully. So, it's really excited to see. Bye guys. Bye, Bye. Bye. thanks again. Thank you. <laughs> Table in place. Final touches. Hey, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. We can have our breakfast out here when it's warm. Oh yeah. <laughs> way too cold now. <laughs> By the way, look at my beautiful sweatshirt. Splashy. The front porch came out really good. It definitely has that welcoming, open look that we wanted. I really oh. like it, it's very homey. <laughs> yeah, the stairs and the deck turned out awesome. We didn't have to buy anything to build them. We had just all the materials lying around. On top of that, it looks really super good. The table turned out really well too, I think. It was kind of hard to sand down some of those crevices, but the dark spots ended up looking kind of cool. I just like how it was my family's table and <laughs> to still <Yeah>. use it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually. Those little things there. We're going together like we thought it would. Yes, like it. And this is a second scrape over the top. Yeah. It's 
So now we just wait, right? Yeah, we do have a little bit of waiting time. This is the next morning and you can start seeing the brown coming out that we wanted to have in there as far as that to buff. Is it a bluff and a buff? But we weren't bluffing. It really was a buff. The color's starting to pop through, which is kind of nice. And if we leave the forms on, we'll be pulling those off probably in another day, maybe tomorrow. Just want to get that little bit of a hardness is on there. And once we pull the forms off, then it's time to shape it and uh, grind it down a little bit and then start deciding on if there's more texture or color, texture in color, I guess, that we want to put to it or just leave it like it is. It's definitely a lighter brown. Yeah. You can tell some of this has actually yeah. dried. Some of the top is very dried. nice. It's very it's nice. It's coming out really well. Pretty good project. Everybody worked together so well, building the frame and, and framing up the whole thing. It worked really well. We left these spaces in here. I don't know if we explained it for cutting boards in these yeah. areas. Which is going to be really nice because it'll keep the countertop nice. Yeah, it kind of came for that idea that, you know, everybody says, you know, you scrape the top of it and then you ruin it. And I go, well, that's kind of like with any countertop, right? So create a, a space for us to work on it. I mean, as far as with knives and things that are scratchy and stuff. Four of them. And one, two, three, four. And then I thought if we do them in butcher block, even if you wear your butcher block out, you just replace it with another one. So, you know, this thing could last for 20 years or more. The way we built it could last for 50. Now we just wait. Wait. wait and then wait some more. Yeah, <laughs> waiting is the thing. Like some of you have made some comments about the progress of the cancer thing. I feel great. However, I do have some tests that we took several weeks ago and we've been waiting for her to come back. So I keep calling uh, the oncologist person that we're working with and it's just not ready yet. It hasn't been sent back yet. Hopefully it's my test that they're working on. <laughs> and that they can uh, give me that information back so I can hear back how we're doing on the cancer. Well, I can update you when that information comes in. We hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and friends. We had just an incredible year. Oh, the dogs, a lot of them got saved from yeah. Carbo and, and all the gifts that you showered the dogs Thank with. You. after That was so sweet. They're still chewing on them. And we got a new baby coming on yes. the way. Yes, well, uh, not us. <laughs> Garrett and Ellie, Ellie um, yeah. in January, we're really looking forward to that. And we're also very thankful we're on this side of the cure, this side of the remedy. I've exceeded the doctor's uh, expectations. Feeling better now than I did before cancer. And before yeah. pneumonia that got yeah. you into the hospital, yeah. Yep. We just cannot tell you how much we're thankful for all your support and prayers. And it's just an amazing time, even though it was very, uh, very scary. You made it better by all of the support and outpouring prayers. Um, amazing. Just want to say thank you, too, for, for that. The refeatured design of the week is... Moosel through. Yes. Well, yes. Moosel through. through. Because Gary has been mooseling through cancer. Mostly through, <laughs> yes. Every time I wear it, I grunt a little. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's 15% off at the store on all products today as well, so you can get the Moosel through or any of the designs that Brie has designed in the past. I believe it's also free shipping on Cyber Monday as well. Sweet. Good sales going on. Mm -hmm. If you want to get t-shirts or a set of cups or something like that, um, now is the time. Yeah, if you haven't went out and got your gift already, this is a good time. The Christmas gifts? Oh, we do <laughs> have one more thing. We did get a tremendous amount of support support for the idea of running the podcast and mm -hmm. the video tips. We will be doing just an audio only podcast coming this Monday, Cyber Monday. So you can be listening to that while you're shopping for your uh, gifts online. Yes, put your headphones on. Yeah, your new AirPods oh. for Christmas. Just to stay up on those. Yeah, you got to stay up on your new thingies that yeah, go in your ears good. so you, you can, can listen to the... It. Well, you must be feeling well if you're up on all the new oh, stuff. Oh yeah, I got to be up on the new stuff. <laughs> Anyway, we will see you back here yeah. next Friday. Check us out on Monday. Have a super week. Bye. Bye. Thank you. We're popping the quitting today. Ah, my finger! Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> Did you want to turn? <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? I'll hit my actor on. Me, 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 me. <coughs> you keep turning away from me, man. You just I'm trying to think. Okay, how difficult is this to say? What is this? <laughs> ah! Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Yes, 
I, I spend my time up on chairs. Turning so off you know. refrigerators because they're noisy. <laughs> oh. yeah. Like you do. When you like, you comment and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that was smooth. <laughs>